What's up everybody? This is Stu back with Geekly Goods and you know what time it is. It is time for the Stu View. That's right, this week we are talking about Gemini Man, a movie from director Ang Lee, written by David Benioff and starring Will Smith and Will Smith along with uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead and uh, a couple others that are, that are great in this. Now I'm going to start with the supporting cast. Uh, you've got Clive Owen, you've got... Uh, Wong from Doctor Strange, who his name is is escaping right, me right now. You've also got Mary Elizabeth Winstead. They're pretty solid, I gotta say. Ang Lee rounded out his cast pretty well. Gives some good people, some good jokes, a little bit of here and there. Um, after that, it gets a little bit more sketchy. Uh, Will Smith, I gotta say, knocks it out of the park. He's kind of back to his action role, but I gotta say he blends in a little bit of his drama experience now. So he's actually kind of upgrading the experience. He can hit those heavy moments even harder than in his heyday. Uh, but I will say, this is not Bad Boys. This is not Bad Boys 2. Uh, this isn't Independence Day. This isn't even iRobot. Like, if you're looking for a thrilling action movie, this one just does not deliver. And uh, I'm the first one to say that it really kind of upsets me because there's nothing I love more than 1990s Will Smith action movies. They're funny, they're, you know, engrossing, the action stunts are great. Now, when we talk about this movie, all of those things just don't add up. Now, part of it is Ang Lee, who you guys might remember from Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, uh, you know, Life of Pi, Brokeback Mountain. This guy has a serious pedigree. Like, he is making Oscar movies but I think he may have forgotten how to make a real action movie. Um, the heart, to be honest, and the twist just isn't there. Uh, this feels like a script that was pulled off the shelf from the 90s and not updated at all. It Really, you could put this in any time period, uh, change the weaponry a little bit and the gadgets, and all of a sudden you've got a spy action movie. Um, now, part of this blame and Game of, Thrones, Game of Thrones fans, you are going to hear me on this one. Part of this blame goes to David Benioff. Uh, he is the writer um, for this script. Um, also the write, one of the main writers on the last season of Game of Thrones. And guys, it's... Look, for every criticism that we've ever had about Game of Thrones, this, in comparison, is much worse. Uh, there's no heart. There's no chemistry. The twists aren't there. It's really just right down the middle. Uh, they seem to have forgotten that Mission Impossible as a franchise has been doing this really, really well for like 15 years. And maybe they just didn't watch any of them or something because, I don't know, they, they seem to have just like forgotten that the bar has been raised. Not only on the twists and the story, but on the stunts. I mean, you look at the stuff that Tom Cruise does, and then you look at the stuff that Will Smith did in this movie, it looks... I hate to say it, but it looks like amateurish in comparison. Now, the one thing I will say that's kind of cool about this movie is it's shot in 120 frames per second and also 3D. Uh, so it's going to have a very distinct and different look. If you remember how The Hobbit kind of looked a little too real, that's how this is going to look. It also seems to be where a lot of the focus was, just in terms of the money and the, the direction and the, the just the overall focus of the movie is on this kind of tech and look it's cool i'll say it's it's interesting but it's not a great movie for that the other thing that's a little funky you obviously have the older wiser will smith and the younger brash brasher fresh princer uh will smith on on this side and i have to say the tech that they're using to de-age slash use a digital version of him, it's pretty amazing. There are some scenes where I honestly can't tell the difference between the real and the fake, and the fake one looks more real than the real one. So in some cases it really, really works. But when you start getting into fight scenes, a lot of action, uh, a lot of movement especially, it doesn't really work the same. It reminds me a lot of... Uh, Keanu Reeves in the second and third Matrix, where they're using these computer-generated people. Now, it's certainly gotten better, but the eye can still tell. 
Like you still, they're moving too fast, their limbs are a little too long. It just doesn't look right. It, something's off. Um, that being said, it's, it's pretty cool that they're able to make an older Will Smith and a younger Will Smith fight each other, but eh, maybe not go all the way in on it. Maybe a couple stunt doubles could have been used, something like that. Um, but finally, overall, I have to say, uh, it's a nice little boilerplate action movie. Whether or not Will Smith was in it didn't really matter. He probably elevated it from a very low score to a not as low score. But I wouldn't be rushing out to see this one. To be honest, guys, it's not worth the theaters, especially because they're not playing it in the intended format. Overall, I'm giving it a 6 out of 10, and that's honestly generous considering my interest in the tech and the digital clone of Will Smith, so to speak. So what I will say is wait for this one, guys. Check it out on Netflix. Rent it on iTunes, whatever you do. Don't rush out to see this in theaters. It kind of breaks my heart. Love to see Ang Lee succeed, but this isn't going to be the one to do it. But yeah, guys, that's about it. Uh, and as always, please like, so share, subscribe, all that stuff. If we're wrong, let us know in the comments. If we're right, let us know in the comments. But this has been another Stu View for Geekly Goods. We'll see you guys next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow Geekly Goods on all social media platforms. And grab something from our store. We take $1 of every purchase and donate it to arts education to keep arts in the classrooms. We'll see you next time.